Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of getting ready, so I said, why not just record what I'm doing? Um, so this is kind of my quick everyday get ready that I always do. Um, I generally use most of my products are generally all like made by Lisa. And I have her palette here, the Glow palette. Um, I generally just take the bronzer in that and put that all over my lid. Um, I can't find my blender brush that I usually use, so I'm just taking this Morphe M441 blender. I'm just going to dip it in the bronzer and just put that all over my lid. So just a little bit of bronzer. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, and um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just take um, a small brush to pack on. I'm going to take a bit of highlighter and just use that and uh, Um, and that's it, that's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. Um, I will probably just do mascara now. And the mascara I have is the Luna by Lisa Long Lash Mascara.
okay and that's it um if i really wanted to make it a bit more um i have the sculpted by amy eyeliner pencil and i put that on just to add a little bit more to um i might i would put it up on top just to define it a little more um i'm going to go back to my luna by lisa palette to glow palette and then i'm going to do my um bronzer and blush couldn't find what i was looking for okay so um just gonna do my contour sometimes it just doesn't come out on camera or in video when I have bronzer on because um, I felt like it wasn't showing up very much like this maybe it's the light and I looked in the mirror and I'm like it's really bronzed and it's nearly a bit too much bronze and I'm like it wasn't coming out in the light so I ended up putting on way too much So I'm on the hunt for a new um, foundation because all along I was using the Amy Conley foundation that I bought really because it was really expensive and I just wanted to get my money as right and use it all. But it was a blush, I, blush, it was a foundation I did not like at all. It was so dry and it was so hard to blend and the technique that I could only find to use it was by using her primer where it's, it's a very hydrating primer, it's very glowy, mix it in with the foundation and it becomes so much easier to blend, to use, it even makes the foundation look so much better where it's like really glowy. Um, but yeah, that would be my tip for how to use it, if anybody uses it. Um, Um, that's my tip for how to use it that I found um, and I had a conversation with another youtuber actually before um, I found her video where she did a review and she was basically saying she didn't like it very much either um, and she said she would she said she kept it as a foundation for an at-home foundation do you know if she had business meetings or email or a day where she was doing like emails from home and she wanted to put on a bit of makeup she said she would use that um because i actually liked to comment on her video saying i didn't like it either and what i found worked for me was using a primer that was a hydration primer mixed in it's just like it's missing an ingredient to make it more blendable or um you need to have really oily skin it was the only way I could put it um, so I finished that foundation up and I'm trying to find something else now to use um, trying to find something else so I have a couple of foundation reviews that I want to do a video on and that way I'll do foundation videos I will find if a new foundation that I want and I will let you know which one I decide to use because I have um if you're 
I put up a video a while ago of um, a Dior haul where there was makeup produced in O'Sullivan's Pharmacy in Wilton. Um, it was ages ago though. Um, their stock is gone now as well if you're watching this video. Um, so I got the Dior foundation. It's the Dior serum foundation or anything. It's meant to be really... Um, I would describe it as a, a creamy foundation because it's meant to be hydrating and glowy and all that. So I really want to do a view and then on that. I also got the Catrice Foundation. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the is it Hydro Glow Foundation or something like that. Um, I got that one. I want to do a view on that one as well. Um, and I don't know any other foundations that I want to try those are my top few that I want to try and um, if any of you have any recommendations on what other ones to try um, I do really want to try the so Sue foundation but I think that's very expensive as well considering it's like 25 euro Um, but yeah, that was something I learned, especially when I bought the Amy Connolly, Amy Connolly Foundation, because I was like, 27 euro is a lot of money for a um, foundation. So it's like 25 euro is a lot as well for a foundation. Um, So I used two of Luna Wellings uh, lip liners, one was a pinky and then one was darker, kind of just mixed the two. And now the lip that I'm putting on is the Sculpted by Amy Connolly X Tara Makeup. So this was their first collaboration. They came out with a second collaboration again. Um, but the new lip gloss they released is more of a brownie nudie tone. It's not a just to clarify the new one they came out with it is not like a really dark brown or anything it's just a nudie brown color so it's like it's not too dark or anything but um for me i prefer pink colors um but yeah um that would be my everyday kind of makeup routine for a quick on the go look um i usually would use this um uh, luna by lisa eyeshadow palette uh something i'm very proud of is that i've actually hit pan on this one and i actually did say to myself before that once um i start hitting pan on the ones that I use all the time. I really want to start using the pink one. I think I have the pink um, loose mixture. It's, it's like an eye topper and I haven't used it and I want to use it. And I really want to do um, a pink eye look eventually. And I plan to use that to do it. 
Um, so this is it. This is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks guys.